I'm Rob Schweitzer. I'm Vice President, Communications and Commerce for Historic Hudson Valley at the great Jack-O-Lantern Blaze. So the great Jack-O-Lantern Blaze is an event that we think about all year round. We are conceptualizing in the winter. We're drawing in the spring. We start to think about the infrastructure in the late spring and in the summer. And we start carving in earnest in the fall. And we carve throughout the run of the event. So people are experiencing fresh, exciting installations no matter what night they come. So we have more than 7,000 hand-carved jack-o'-lanterns lit up throughout this gorgeous historic landscape. And it's not just single pumpkins. I mean, we have a lot of those. Some of them are super intricate. But we specialize in taking a number of pumpkins, dozens or hundreds, and turning them into one big, huge installation. That's a specialty of what we do here at Blaze. The carving process, it can be very elaborate. Sometimes some of these single elaborate pumpkins, six or eight hours for one artist to do. And they're all done by our small team, all hand carved right here at Van Cortlandt Manor, home to the great Jack-O-Lantern Blaze. Blaze started in 2005. This is our 19th year. And when we started, we really didn't know what people would think about this. We had about 2,000 pumpkins on display, but 18,000 people came out that first year. And we said, whoa, there's, there's something to this. And it just continued to grow and grow from there. And now this year, we're expecting more than 150,000 people to experience it. So it's just something that people come back to year after year. New people learn about it. People bring their, their kids and their grandkids. And it's just become this, this fall tradition for people to experience. So we go through about 100,000 pounds of pumpkin during this event because we're open for about seven weeks and we're carving throughout the run of the event. All of our pumpkins are sourced locally from the Hudson Valley and it's a little bit of a military operation. They're delivered on the beginning of the week, they get scooped, they get carved, they get put out and it's just a constant rotation of activity. We love to really be purposeful about the installations that we do. They're all meaningful in some way. They either have a connection to the site or to the, Hudson, the greater Hudson Valley or the greater New York area. So for example, we have a scene that is meant to evoke New York City. And we've even added for the first time a working Ferris wheel to that scene. Very cool stuff, kind of a little bit of a Coney Island uh, aspect to it. We have a replica of the Statue of Liberty. Really proud of that. We've got a lot of great stuff that you can find here that really ties into the culture of the area. So we've got a, a bunch of new stuff this year, including a whole new circus scene with a sideshow act. And that sounds, you know, maybe a little wacky, but it has these guys, we call them pumpkin pals, and they're doing like things you'd see in a sideshow. They're like strong men, they're like sword swallowing, there's a mermaid one, and there's a lot of movement also. It's not just the pumpkins on display. We have some, uh, some movement that's added to them, so that's really fun. I mentioned before, we have a new uh, Ferris wheel this year. We're super excited about that. And we certainly do Halloween stuff as well. We have a whole Day of the Dead tribute this year, brand new as well. The Pumpkin Blaze, really, you have to see it to believe it. There's more than two million people that have come and experienced this since we've been uh, operating since uh, 2005. It is this incredible display. It's an awesome place to make memories with your friends and family. It's not scary, it's not spooky, there's no figures jumping out at you. It's not a haunted house. We like haunted houses, that's great. It's not what we do. This is this gorgeous art installation. It really is jaw dropping. You should come check it out. And if you want any more information, you want to see some imagery, you want to experience it before you, before you make the decision to come, check out pumpkinblaze.org and you'll find out everything about the event right there. <laughs>